my first comparison, I'm going to give you the full startup and shutdown time compared to an old 5 year 7200 RPM drive versus the new Kingston SSD. I'm going to start my stopwatch here and start my computer at the same time. Hard drive spinning up. This computer was last reinstalled, if I remember right, in October 1st of last year. It is now July 6th, so it hasn't been reinstalled since that time. It has Windows XP, it will have Windows 7 on it once for the solid state. Alright, now we're at already 28 seconds. Your time on your motherboard BIOS flash will be different depending on your motherboard, of course. It's different for each computer. Usually the Dell, HP, all those type of computers are faster to bypass that than a custom-built computer. Unless you get a very high-end motherboard. And they usually just flash by real quick. Right now we are at 94 se 55 seconds. And I'm going to time this to where everything's loaded and I can actually quickly load up a web page or something like that. Because right now, if I tried to load it, it would lag terribly. Everything's still trying to load. You can see the time. There's my time right here. Everything's still loading. Skype loaded. All I have ready on startup right now is Skype, log me in, and my Avira antivirus. And of course the creative audio, I have a sound card in this computer and my creative audio stuff. But most, that's really all that's starting up, just basic stuff. Skype is really the largest program starting right now. And also Avira. Right now we're at 2 minutes and still not fully started up. Keep in mind this is a 5 year old SATA hard drive. I got this in April of 2006. A Dell computer. This is a hard drive. A old Western Digital hard drive. So it's very slow compared to its solid state. As you can see. And it appears to be started up. Let's go to Firefox. And it appears that about that's the time now, as you can see right here. But it appears about two and a half minutes for a full startup on this computer. And now I'm going to switch over. I'm going to close off Firefox here. Stop. If you'd like to know what this stopwatch is for Android, it's the Ultra Chrome Lite. Just if you want to know. I'm going to reset this and I'm going to click start. And turn off computer. Just not going to turn off. And start. And let's shut down. Classic Windows XP shutdown noise. Will not hear that for a very long time. This would be my last computer probably ever that will have Windows XP on it. Alright, 18 seconds, still shutting down. By the way, this is also 250 gig, 7200 RPM drive. Partition, so it's, I've done everything possible. And it looks at 32 seconds, it shut down. That's your speed for this. I will probably cut out parts of this, you will hear this, and it will probably be a lot shorter. I'll just speed it up for you guys so you don't have to sit through like two minutes of booting up and stuff. But now I'm going to switch over to my solid state and show you how much faster it really is. Okay guys, my solid state drive is now installed. I'm going to go hit the power button, same like I did before my old drive, and start at the same time. The computer is now starting. Remember again, this is a 64 gigabyte Kingston SSD. Before, I had two and a half minute boot time if you forgot. And now we're going to see what we have now in boot time. We're at 20 seconds. 
get into the Windows login. Already to the desktop in under 40 seconds, 38 seconds. Like, like before, I'm going to wait until everything starts up. Skype, to log me in that stuff, fire software. There's actually a few more processes starting up on this on Windows 7 than what did on Windows XP. Let's keep that in mind. It's now a minute and eight seconds, and I think everything has started up. And I'm just going to start Firefox like in the last test. And yes, it is. So definitely... Definitely within 1 minute and 15 seconds, this computer is fully booted up, so definitely it's right on twice as fast of a boot up time which everything is loaded, which is freaking awesome. That just shows how much faster an SSD is. Like before, I'm going to reset this to zero again, and I'm going to shut down Firefox. I'm actually going to click shut down at the same time. See right here, five, six seconds, seven seconds, boom, nine seconds is shut down. And before it took like 32 seconds, so nine divided by 32, about almost four times faster. Something close enough, three to four times as fast of a short shutdown time. Keep in mind also when you first reinstall Windows on this, it's even faster than what is Windows is up on the desktop within 30 seconds when you first install not the minute and 15 or whatever it took or 40 seconds so within 30 seconds it's up to the desktop and by 40 seconds it's fully usable and once you the more apps you have obviously the longer it's going to get but I wouldn't expect any longer than a minute and a half to have full boot up of everything you have no matter really how many apps you have it also depends on your CPU speed keep that in mind and everything else this has been the first part of my SSD test I will have an annotation right here that will show you and bring you to the next video on the speed test of my SSD. Thanks for watching.